In this video, I'll break down the most common symptoms of a bad O2 sensor, how it affects fuel economy, emissions, engine performance, and even your catalytic converter. I'll also show you how to confirm it's the culprit using a scan tool or multimeter, so you don't waste money on unnecessary repairs. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more helpful videos like this. To keep the air-fuel ratio tightly controlled, your engine control unit relies on accurate feedback from the oxygen sensor. When the sensor begins to fail or drifts out of calibration, it can cause poor fuel economy, sluggish engine performance, failed emissions tests, and even long-term catalytic converter damage. Vehicles use different types of O2 sensors. Narrowband sensors detect rich or lean conditions, while wideband sensors provide more precise readings. They can also be heated or unheated. Heated sensors with extra wires reach operating temperature faster, improving cold start accuracy. Most vehicles have at least two sensors, upstream to manage fuel trim and downstream to monitor catalytic converter efficiency. Over time, these sensors wear out from carbon buildup, contamination, heat, or age. One of the first signs is the check engine light. It's a common trigger, and while it could be caused by several issues, a bad O2 sensor is a top suspect, especially in high mileage vehicles. The sensor monitors oxygen levels in the exhaust, and helps the ECU balance the air-fuel mixture. When it starts sending faulty signals, the ECU can't make accurate adjustments and flags the problem. Use an OBD2 scanner to check for codes like P0130 to P0167, which relate to O2 sensor circuits. But don't assume right away. It could also be a bad MAF sensor, vacuum leak, or misfire. If you want a full breakdown of what these codes mean and how to interpret them, check out my detailed video on O2 sensor fault codes. I'll link it up here in the corner. Another clear sign is poor fuel economy. A faulty sensor may incorrectly detect a lean condition, causing the ECU to dump in extra fuel, resulting in a rich mixture that burns more fuel than needed. If long-term fuel trims are consistently in the high positives, that's a clue. Of course, poor mileage can also be caused by underinflated tires, dirty air filters, dragging brakes, or a bad thermostat so pair scan data with a visual inspection. Black smoke from the exhaust is another giveaway. A rich mixture caused by bad O2 readings leads to incomplete combustion. That extra fuel exits the tailpipe as black soot, which can also foul spark plugs and damage your catalytic converter. Check both short and long-term fuel trims and watch upstream O2 voltage. It should cycle rapidly. If it's stuck around 0.9 volts, the sensor may be falsely signaling the ECU to keep adding fuel. Still, leaking injectors, a faulty pressure regulator, or a stuck EGR valve can cause similar symptoms. A rotten egg smell, that sulfur-like odor, is another indicator. Excess fuel in the exhaust overloads the catalytic converter, which then emits hydrogen sulfide. This often happens when a bad O2 sensor misleads the ECU into overfueling. If sensor voltage is stuck rich or fluctuates without throttle changes, that's a strong sign. But again, rule out other fuel-related issues like a leaking injector or failed coolant temp sensor. If you don't already have a scan tool, check the links in the description. I've listed some reliable and affordable ones to help you diagnose issues like this. And if you're finding this helpful so far, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Catalytic converter failure is another costly consequence. When a faulty O2 sensor causes the engine to run rich for too long, Unburned fuel reaches the cat and burns inside it, overheating and breaking it down. If your converter is glowing red, rattling, or throwing P0420, it may be damaged. Compare upstream and downstream O2 readings. If they're too similar, the cat is likely no longer doing its job, possibly due to sensor-caused damage. But also consider other causes like oil burning, coolant leaks, or long-term misfires. Modern cars have upstream and downstream oxygen sensors. The first manages air-fuel mixture, the second checks catalytic efficiency. If either fails, emissions and performance take a hit. Use a scan tool to check readiness monitors and look for codes like P0420. If you're ready to actually test your O2 sensor step-by-step, -step, whether with a multimeter or scan tool, watch my complete O2 sensor testing guide linked up here. But keep in mind, failed emissions could also result from a leaky exhaust or aging engine. If your engine starts losing power or struggles to accelerate, especially under load, the O2 sensor might be to blame. A malfunctioning sensor can falsely signal a lean condition, 
prompting the ECU to overcompensate with extra fuel. That excess fuel doesn't fully burn and can reduce engine power. To confirm, monitor fuel trims during acceleration. If it's running rich without reason and the sensor reading is stuck or slow to respond, the O2 sensor is suspect. But power loss can also be due to clogged filters, restricted exhaust, or a faulty throttle sensor. So always verify with supporting data. Hesitation, surging, or bucking during acceleration can also point to unstable combustion caused by inaccurate sensor feedback. Since the ECU uses O2 sensor data to time ignition and fuel injection, delays or stuck readings can disrupt combustion rhythm. You'll feel it as the engine stumbles under load or throttle changes. A scan tool can show whether the sensor is reacting fast enough to input changes. Still, consider checking injectors, spark plugs, and fuel pressure, as they can cause similar symptoms. If your engine idles roughly, surging or stumbling at stoplights, a bad O2 sensor could again be the issue. Without accurate air fuel input, idle RPM can fluctuate wildly, sometimes spiking then dropping in quick succession. Check idle trims and sensor voltage in real time. But don't overlook vacuum leaks, a dirty throttle body, or a faulty idle control valve, which can also cause rough idle. Misfires or stalling, especially during idle or acceleration, might also trace back to a faulty O2 sensor. The sensor itself doesn't cause misfires, but incorrect data can lead to over- or underfueling, resulting in incomplete combustion. Watch for erratic fuel trims or stuck sensor voltages in sync with the misfire events. If short and long-term trims swing wildly or peg out of range, that's a clue. If you need a reliable scan tool or a replacement O2 sensor, check the links in the description. I've listed the ones I recommend. And don't forget, misfires can also stem from spark plugs, coils, or fuel issues. While your car may seem to run fine at first, driving long-term with a faulty oxygen sensor can lead to more than just poor fuel economy. The ECU may fall back on default values, called open loop mode, where it stops adjusting the fuel mixture based on real-time sensor data. This often results in a mixture that's too rich or too lean, depending on how the sensor failed. That imbalance can cause your engine to run rough, foul the spark plugs, increase emissions, and eventually lead to engine hesitation or stalling. More critically, it can overwork and damage the catalytic converter, one of the most expensive parts to replace in your exhaust system. So yes, your car may still run, but ignoring the issue can turn a cheap sensor replacement into a much costlier repair. When buying a replacement O2 sensor, always match it to your vehicle's make, model, engine type, and sensor position, upstream or downstream. Stick with reputable brands and avoid universal sensors unless you're confident with splicing and wiring. Subscribe if you found this breakdown helpful. There's more like this on the way to help you diagnose and fix problems without guesswork.